output of our uh, digital signal processing subject so which is the continuous screen time signal so if I will I'm just going to open our word so as you can see here in my screen is uh, the signals that is been coded in MATLAB so I'm using MATLAB as a platform to code my uh, my graph so in this video I'll be discussing about the triangular, triangular post function so the problem is uh, if the absolute value of t is less than or equal to half of t then f of t is equal to 1 minus 2 function t so how are we going to do this so first i written a comment here so in person form so first thing that you should do is to define the triangular pulse function so let, let's define t so t is equals to 4 so what what is the 4 so 4 is the width of the pulse so as you can see here uh, t is, a, is the parameter uh, that represents the width of the triangular triangular pulse function so it is used to define time interval over which the triangular triangular pulse is defined so we can say that in this specific case t is assigned as a value of 4 so here and then t length space uh, function negative t t 1000 so this is the time values and the next thing that you should do is to define the triangular pulse function using the piecewise function definition so the piecewise function you are as you all know, know so here so this is the piecewise function and then uh, let's input the um, solution so later on i will just um, let's simplify this on matlab so function is equals to at t times the quantity of 1 minus 2 over t times the abstract function of t times the, uh, the quantity of abstract t function uh, less than or equal to t over 2 and then after that we have to evaluate the function for the given time values so which could be represented as y is equal to the function of t and then the order for us to get the graph or the triangular pulse function of its model so we have to plot the triangular pulse function so uh, how we how will we do that so uh, we can we can easily get the graph by simply uh, plotting the triangular pulse function so we have to input figure and then we have to plot t y uh, line width 2 and then the title which is uh, could be uh, could be seen later on and then the x label t y label f of t and then grid on so we will be using the grid so to see the output uh, let's try and uh, let's try this code in matlab so i i already copied this code in my notepad so we're just going to uh, copy this and let's paste it on notepad so if you will paste this in notepad and then click enter so we can enter again let's try again click enter so we can see the graph here so this is the graph so from negative to this is the width here um, two so as you can see uh, this is the triangle title of its graph and the plot of y so this is the triangular pulse function so basically uh, we're just doing the uh, here the x label so as you can see here in the x label we have t t here y so we have the f of t so i'm giving it label of its um, its function or its uh, the, the x and y so uh, that would be also i choose triangular pulse function because um, this is uh, one of the functions that i'm confident to explain so thank you and uh, again thanks for watching